<laughs> what am I talking about again? Hey, what's happening guys? It's Rob from East Coast Customs here. We thought we'd film a quick video for you guys today. Look, we've been getting a lot of questions on the phone lately. Um, I guess in, in terms of the different kinds of superchargers that are available and you know, what type of supercharger is gonna be best for my application. And while we have this big bad boy here, um, I figure what better time to film a video about it. So, big question to me, we're getting, um, basically what are the two main types of superchargers and what's going to be better for my application and when. So obviously we've just finished up this one on Dino's um, 2020 Extra and we've just fitted a big Pro Charger to this thing. Um, and then obviously the, the second type of supercharger which will take you over to one of the other cars I'll show you later is like your positive displacement style supercharger which is like your Harrop or your Whipple or something like that. So I, I guess question, uh, uh, I guess about um, one, which one's gonna be better for my car? But to be honest, it's it's a how long's a piece of string question and, and it really comes down to different type of application and all that. Um, I, I guess to, to, to zoom in on this one in here to show you the difference. Um, so, you'll have to forgive me, this car's really big. I am a regular sized person. It's just a very, very big truck. <laughs> Maybe not really a regular sized person, I don't know. So as you can see here, big pro charger. This is what we call a centrifugal style supercharger. So as you can see, it basically looks like a big ass turbo, um, as opposed to um, your, your roots or your Eaton style supercharger that you see a lot of us doing with all the Harrop and the Whipple stuff that we do on a lot of cars. So look, I, I guess similarities between this and your, your positive displacement style ones, um, both are belt driven forced induction system here, but quite obviously, Procharger looks like a big turbo, which is basically, so Procharger or your Vortec is rather really popular brand with these ones. Um, they're a belt driven supercharger or basically a belt driven turbo. Um, whereas the positive displacement style supercharger you see, it kind of sits on top of the manifold and we'll take you over to one of those other ones shortly. Still the same thing, I, I guess in terms of forced induction, it compresses the air as it forces into the engine to give us boost. Um, but as you can see, two very, very different styles. Um, the, the main difference between the two, um, if you're wondering, I guess, how they work or what application is gonna be better for my car, general golden rule of thumb, Procharger stuff or centrifugal superchargers are, are, are more turbo-like in the sense that they make boost as you rev the car higher, kind of stuff like that. Um, and, and the pulley ratio dictates that. So you can see we've got a 4.5 inch pulley on this one. Uh, and, and this kit's about an eight PSI kit on this car. So what you'll find is, so on a Procharger or a centrifugal supercharger, um, you know, we might rev this thing up and, you know, 2000 RPM, you, you know, you know, press the go pedal or whatnot. And then as, as we rev the car further, we're gonna make more and more boost. So you'll commonly find someone like Procharger sells you a 10 PSI supercharger kit. It's designed to make 10 PSI at roughly the red line of the engine. And then obviously as we pull it down on one of these things, we can make more boost. But the, the main concept to get your head around with a Procharger or a centrifugal thing is the more you rev the car, the more boost you'll make. So the positive on something like that, um, is a lot of the newer direct injection cars or cars that have slightly weaker bottom ends or rods. Obviously you don't have as much boost down low as a positive displacement supercharger, so they're a little easier on the bottom end. And, and I guess pound for pound, uh, I guess if you're talking maximum, maximum horsepower, um, your centrifugal stuff can traditionally make higher horsepower, but it has a very different driving style to uh, your positive displacement style supercharger. Now, to take you over to something like a positive displacement style supercharger, so if you follow us over here, this one's your normal typical Harrop. So something that you see that we'll do all day, every day on like our Mustang stuff, all our Whipple stuff, um, where you see you've got the supercharger mounted straight on top of the manifold. Biggest, biggest difference, I guess, biggest key thing you wanna know between the way your centrifugal supercharger works and the way your positive displacement supercharger works is, as I was talking about there, pulley ratio, say on that five liter, I, I, actually, I guess probably a really good comparison here because they're both five liter direct inject, um, direct inject, Coyote engines. So if we were to 10 PSI um, centrifugal supercharger kit, like I said, it's spec and the boost curve is as we rev it, it's gonna make more boost as we rev up. Whereas if I get a 10 PSI pulley configuration for my Harrop, basically the supercharger is gonna be making 10 PSI the whole time and the bypass valve um, on the side of the supercharger is bleeding that boost off. Big difference here in the drivability is as soon as I mash a pedal on one of these things, I get all 10 pound of boost straight into the engine um, as soon as that bypass valve closes off. So we get the boost into the engine. So the big difference here is um, that your positive displacement superchargers make a lot of boost down low. So if you've got 10 pound, you get all your boost from the second you put your foot down. Whereas on your centrifugal style superchargers, they obviously make boost with RPM. So clear difference there is if you're after something that's super torquey and super, 
get you know heaps of throttle response and that really big whack of boost down low positive displacement supercharger is what you want if you want something that's going to drive more like i'm not going to say an na car but like a big fast turbo style na car so something that builds boost as you get into it um your centrifugal supercharger is the kind of supercharger you want to go as i said different applications um we find look like especially in the jeep platform um where they've got kind of weaker bottom ends um or a lot of the direct injection stuff we do use the pro charger kits um to kind of help protect the bottom end so they don't get that big whack of torque down low um but like i said horses for courses depending on exactly the kind of driving you're doing the kind of racing you're doing the kind of towing you're doing or once again simply what kind of engine you've got um so another big one you'll find, we're gonna start doing a lot of Procharger stuff on the brand new um, DT series of RAM stuff, particularly the new engines that have come in with the eTorque, because once again, the, the eTorque series in the new Hemi um, is part of the inlet manifold and we physically cannot replace the inlet manifold to put a Harrop style supercharger on. So look, look I guess, Guys, there's, there's a lot to go into and we could probably talk all day about the two different types of superchargers and all that kind of stuff here. Um, but guys, please feel to, if you've got any questions um, about how any of this stuff works, feel free to drop a comment in the box below. Um, we'll hope to hear from you soon. See ya.